send the races out. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. The mafia were in the new setting. You know what I'm saying? As you can see by the background. Let's see how Cinderace doesn't know you, bro. It's it's a bit different now. And look at this. My dude has Cinderace and Miascarada. That's that's pretty clean, actually. I got a few teams from Joey, so I'm going to use, like, one team in each battle. Um, Cinderace is hella fun, bro. You know what I'm saying? We got we got Missy over here. Core change is huge against Goldango. So that's, that's like... And then overall, if you look at the biggest threats, Cinderace does cover a lot of things. Which is actually really nice. In fact, Cinderace will go stupid in this game. Which is what we have to be careful of the Rotom. I also I feel like I can sweep with Gera once I weaken the obviously the Rotom. Scarf Roaring Moon is gonna be an X factor, I feel like. I kinda wanna lead off with it, but that would reveal that I am scarfed immediately. That might be fine though. That might be fine actually. Because if I lead Garakhal, I don't think it's gonna accomplish too much. He's probably just gonna lead Rotom though, that's the thing. Maybe I do lead Garnakarko in this case. She yeah, let me lead Garnakarko. Cause look, yeah, there's the Rotom lead. This is fine as long as no trick happens. I wanna see what he wants to do. Let's let's go for protect. If he tricks, that would be a bit bad. So he just Oh fuck, I accidentally turned off my mic. Um he goes for Volt Switch. Rocks is free, but then he also definitely has Core Change. I think this is Core Change. Mine is not. His is. So I could just get some damage with Salt Cure and something. You know what? This might be the play. If he goes into Claude Sire, that's fine. I can't Core Change his shit out, but I can always Rapid Spin. He does have a Dragapult, but, you know, that, that's, that's fine. Show me what you got, bitch boy. Um... If we get damage, for example, on his own Cinderace, I don't even know what he would want to go into here. It must be Miascarada, right? But against Miascarada, I can always, like, protect next turn, get a little bit of Salt Cure, you know what I'm saying? The Salt Stack is so goddamn annoying, bro. Why is this Pokemon so good? That shit is fucking insane. Yep, yep, he left. He knew, he realized, bro. As soon as he clicked Volt Switch, he fucking realized that there's just, there's just nothing he, he wants to go into, bro. He just Volt Switched out of his fucking internet, bro. The Volt Switch was so powerful that it fucking blew the router up, man. Alright. We can find another game, to be honest. Oh, he joined back. He joined back. Don't worry, don't worry. He replugged his internet. Alright, the Salt Cure is, is really nice. I want to see what happens here. I'm gonna protect. He should switch. Yeah, he does switch. That's fine. I'm gonna protect again. Protect failed. I can see what he tries to do here. And uh, flower trick, I'm assuming. Oh, just U-turn. Just U-turn. That's fine. Because I think I just sold cure again. Yeah. No, nothing wants to take the sold cure, bro. That's 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 what I'm saying. I thought you just both switched out of his fucking <laughs> house. <laughs> because he didn't want to face this shit. Nothing wants to take this at all. Clotsire comes out. That's more than fine. Think about Clotsire. He can't do too much to me. Um, I could go for rocks. I just don't want him to core change. He can't do too much to me back, though. I feel like I should stay in. I could always switch to get some momentum. But if, like, what I'm saying is that if he stays in and decides to go for hazards, I will go for hazards after that. Like, if we're going for stealth rock here, I'm just going to go for my own stealth rock. So no core change action is going to happen. This is more than fine for me, to be honest, you know? Alright. This Garnokrakul just wearing shit down. Bro, I feel so... I mean... I swear I'm not a bitch. I swear I'm not a bitch. I'm sorry for using this. This is not my team. <laughs> Joey gave it to me, bro. Don't blame me. I just recover. Like, what you gonna do? You're gonna keep Earthquaking? Sure. You're gonna need to recover right here. I just sold Cure. Yep, I sold Cure. Man, I... I feel bad. Very suboptimal. I apologize. I swear I'm not a virgin. I swear. <laughs> it looks like I am, but I swear I'm not. So he's finally gonna force me out. Is it though? I can just fucking fairy type. But the question is, is it worth? It might be worth. I think if I turn into fairy type, he can't do shit to this thing, bro. I need to showcase Cinderace, bro. But this is Carnocrical going fucking stupid right now. I could always go Scizor. But Scizor doesn't accomplish much. Scizor gives him a free Corviknight. 
You know what? If I Terra Fairy, I'll just Terra Fairy and recover. Oh no! Oh, okay, 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 okay. This is actually crazy. So Terra Fairy, I didn't Terra accidentally. I didn't click on it, as you can see. We almost dropped the soap. Flower Trick with a crit. Oh, well, I mean, not always crits. Did 60%. This must be Scarfed. And then I recovered up the damage, pretty much. I'm just gonna... Yeah, Protect was very obvious, but I'm just going for it. I don't know what this can do to me. I mean, me not tearing is actually decent. He just teared into Dragon. He He's had enough, bro. He's had enough. That's actually an insane amount of damage. The thing is, though... The thing is, though, you're all dead. Now it's Aero Fairy. Oh, <laughs> bro. <laughs> it's over, cousin. This man could not break this guard knocker call, bro. I let off with this thing, I think. <laughs> I let off with this thing. This thing has not switched out. <laughs> this is just... <laughs> Bruh. Why is this shit like this? This is so broken. This shit is so fucking broken, bro. I'm just salt curing again. Yeah, there's there's nothing my man can do to me. He... Yeah. Yeah. There it is. I'm very sorry. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> this is... This is Violation. Oh shit, hold on, I want to use a different team. But I didn't even, like, showcase any other Pokémon on this team. Cinderace was not even showcased. Listen, man. I very well can be reported to the police for this humiliation. For this violation right here. But there's nothing I can do, bro. I'm just too nice. I'm just too nice with it. It's actually insane what just happened. What the fuck am I fighting, bro? What is going on? I mean, as, as you saw, we're almost 1600 in this account. Like... I'm sh I shouldn't be fighting this shit. My man pulled up with a meme VCG team, bro, with fucking Grimms. What is going on? I feel like I just leave Garnocker Call again, no? He might lead Perserker. I could lead Cinderace, but the thing about Cinderace, I don't have Court Change. He doesn't know that, though. But I don't want him to, like. I don't want him to Thunder Wave and shit. I could lead Great Tusk as well. I don't know. Great Tusk maybe doesn't accomplish too much. But it puts pressure on everything, honestly. Garnocker will probably just go stupid. Let me lead that thing again, honestly. Tropius is his lead. Tropius? I mean, Tropius can do shit to me. I don't even need to tear it. I know that it's a... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, nice talk. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Leech Seed? Does it work on me? Oh, it does work, because it's not a status, per se. But me getting Soul Cure on that shit is actually huge. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I mean, sure. I'm sorry that I'm skipping turns, but like... Yeah, you can sub. You can do whatever you want, honestly. I don't give a fuck. What is his move? Is it Giga Dra It's Air Slash. Yeah, so we don't want to tear in effect. I'm just gonna Soul Cure again. He has Protect. I mean, I need to recover. But I really want to Soul Cure on his sub. Yep, I'm Soul Curing in his sub, and now I'm recovering. He should sub again. I could even switch, honestly. I could switch right here. I think I do. But he's gonna sub. Oh, fuck it, I'm just gonna stay in, try to beat this 1v1. I keep skipping turns, but this is annoying. I don't wanna sag the fucking Focus Sash of my Cinderace, though, that's the thing. Bro, what the fuck am I fighting? Come on now, dog. Shizor? Shizor doesn't accomplish much. Shizor gives him a free palace and two. But at least it will scare this bitch out, no? <clears throat> Let me go Shizor. I go for Shizor. Oh, he protected. That's the base, ca base case scenario. I just go for SD. SD might just win right here. I go for SD. He leech seeds misses. I SD again then. I don't even give a fuck, bro. Soul Cure is still active. Yeah, leech seed. And... I think that's a wrap. I think that's a wrap. Wrap, wrap. I just terror. You know that I can keep the terror, bro. But I really want to just terror right now. I really feel like terroring. Like, what he can do, bro? What can my man do? Yeah, give me that. Nice fake up, pussy boy. Covert cloak, baby! <laughs> yes, hold on. I need to... I shouldn't be skipping turns, man. I'm so sorry that I'm skipping turns, it's just a habit. Look at this, he faked out, I didn't flinch because of Covert Cloak, and I fucking killed him right after. And just for science, I want to see how much this does. Just for... Oh! 
<laughs> Dog, Cinderace doesn't even have to come out, man. This team is kind of fire. This team is kind of fire. I'll leave it in the description. Okay, maybe I just use this team until... And, and next video we'll use another team with Cinderace. Bro, Cinderace doesn't need to come out. Okay, we got a fucking Revival Blessing motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? We got this rat. That fucking shocking rat. King Gambit is a threat, bro. Actually, not as much with Cinderace. Now, I would assume it's probably gonna be either Pelipper, or maybe even Dragapult lead. Or even the fucking Treads. I kinda wanna lead Garnonkerco, but the problem is, I don't wanna lead that into, like, Pelipper and stuff. Maybe the play is to lead Cinderace, but I, I don't wanna lead Cinderace against Pelipper either. That's the problem. Roaring Moon seems fine, but Roaring Moon just doesn't give me too much, you know what I mean? Like... Maybe I draw lock. Let's see. He's probably gonna U-turn though if he leads Pelipper. There's the Pelipper lead. No way he hurricanes. I'm assuming he just U-turns. He just U-turns. Uh, I have no switchings to fucking Floatzel. Damn it. <laughs> oh my bad. <clears throat> my fault, my fault. <laughs> Bless me, bless me. I could just go ahead and go for Outrage. To be like, I could. I am Scarf though, which means that I'm faster than Dragapult. And then I don't want King Gambit to set up. Okay, let, let's think about this, right? If I go Gera <clears throat> on his U turn, he just gets a free Palmalt. Palmalt is not the worst. That that's not Floatzel. You know what I mean? On Palmot, I can get my Great Tusk in. I think let's do that. Nobody goes for Hurricane here, I would assume so. Yeah, just see turn happens. I'm assuming Palmot is gonna come out. Or even Dragapult with, like, Thunder. It's definitely Thunder Dragapult, 100%. That's probably Specs. On a rain team, right? Gara just means that he actually just goes Float Zone. Are you Terra Blast? <laughs> It's my man Terra Blast. I'm I'm so terrified of this thing, bro. That I might just stay in. What the fuck is he doing? I mean, this thing is decent in beating King Gambit, but it always loses to Thunder Dragapult, even with Terra. Palm it doesn't do much against Palm Mod. It's good against Iron Threads, but we have We have ways to deal with Iron Threads. So like this thing is not necessary at all. I think I want a Waterfall, because Waterfall was Stab in the Rain is stronger than Earthquake. Yeah, I'm just gonna Waterfall. Yeah, he Terra Waters, he just, he just wants to, he wants to test his limits. I respect that shit. I fucking respect that shit. What I could do, I could SD with Cinderace right now. That's a crazy play, but I can do that. I should probably just go Roaring Moon. No, I think that's my play. I could also... <clears throat> I'll, I'll explain while I'm SD. Why? He might think I just go for Sucker Punch. I do have the Sash. He doesn't know that I have the Sash. Um, <clears throat> I guaranteed get one kill right here. If I SD. Because in case he switches... Oh, wait, I don't kill the Pelipper though. Yeah, that's the thing. Hold on. I was like, guaranteed one kill, but I don't kill the Pelipper. Like, I kill everything else besides the Pelipper. I mean, I guess I Sucker Punch this thing. War Blaze. War Blaze Focus Sash. That's actually a cool set. I think I need to keep this, because the thing is... I should have just attacked. I can't really do much to this Pelipper, bro. No cap. No cap Aroni. He goes back into Float Soul, doesn't he? Oof. Oof. No. I don't know. I don't know, bro. Shit, son. I kind of want this thing. I kind of want this thing. But fuck it. Wave crash. Yeah, bro. He's just... He's just spamming crazy attacks right now, bro. Quick attack won't even kill, though. That's the thing. 
fuck, I should have gone into Cinderace. Bro, I just can't. I can't beat this in Pelipper. Unfortunately, this team just loses to this in Pelipper. As you can see, there is no effective ways for me to deal with this. I'll have to quick attack. He might stay in. Unfortunately, I'll have to quick attack. No, he just goes Pelipper. 23%. This is not the worst, actually, because Rain is going to end soon. He's going to be forced to switch. Yeah, he just U-turns. Now, he's in a situation where he needs to actually choose what to do. Like, what I'm saying is that he can always bring the Rain back up later, but Floatzel dies. So these Iron Treads are going to get fucked up. These Iron Treads getting fucked, you know what I'm saying? So then he has King Gambit. Actually, this is very bad for him. All of a sudden, the situation is kind of... Yeah, he needs to go Pelipper. The thing is, I can keep this for the Floatzel, but now he knows that I'm not Bandit. So, not Bandit is not gonna kill. He's probably just gonna attack. And obviously, <laughs> all of my Pokemon are weak to fucking water right here, as you can see. What is gonna do more? Quick Attack is probably gonna do more, yeah? So, 120, yeah, resisted, and Quick Attack is just normal. We're just gonna go for a Quick Attack. Ooh, we crit it! That's actually kind of big. <laughs> that is kind of big. This is actually insane. Hold on. He always has Palmot to revive. But what is this set on Palmot? I have to risk the Pyro Ball, actually. He goes Dragapult. What? He goes Dragapult. Bro, I need to Terra. I think I need to Terra right here. I think I Terra right here. Yep. Yep, yep. Dragapult did. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. I still have my Sash. He goes into Palmot. Palmot is going to revive right here. No way he's reviving treads. Is he gonna revive though? I'm gonna go Great Tusk. He just CCs. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Ice Spinner hits everything. I really want Ice Spinner. Maybe I should Rapid Spin though. It's gonna make me faster than this Palmot. If he revives right here, that's fine. He just goes Pelipper. We kill the Pelipper with Rapid Spin. Lotzel comes back out. I know that, but we still have the Sash on Cinderace. We still got the Sash on Cinderace. The question is, do I maybe sack Garnocker Call? Because I can... This helps me beat King Gambit to an extent. He used this Terra already. Garnokrakul is not the greatest against both. Yeah, I think I just sag Garnokrakul. Let's see. Sag the Souls. Oh, he went for Wave Crash. That's the best case scenario. That really is the best case scenario. So we just go into this. I'll click Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. I know that... Yeah, yeah. Palm Mod is, is always the play, but that's fine. Is he going to revive now, actually? Oh, if he revives Pelipper, that's going to be a problem. He just keeps close combating. Hold on, I might have fucked up. I should have just attacked, I think. I should have just attacked against the Float Zone. But now we're faster than Float Zone as well, which is huge. I feel like he needs to revive. Yeah, he needs to revive the Pelipper to win this. He needs to revive the Pelipper. But the problem with that is that I still do quite a bit of damage to this thing. Ice Spinner is going to do a lot. Or even Knock Off. I think Knock Off is the play it's stronger. Yeah, so we got Damp Rock. It's Roosting. Ooh. Damn, son. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? 31%. Is it going to keep Roosting? It's going to keep Roosting. Ah, oh, him Roosting is actually really bad. He U-turns, though. Hold on. Wait, that's kind of a throw, I think. Pelipper at 49 still does way too much. So Aqua Jet is going to go before Sucker Punch. But that's fine. I just Pyro Ball. This does a lot of damage. But now I can't beat the fucking Pelipper, can I? I am in Blaze range, though. But yeah, I can't beat the Pelipper now. Oh, the game has not ended. What? Wait, why is he roosting? Why the fuck is he roosting? That's a throw. Pyro Ball is 23. Nah, yeah, this, this game is over. Unfortunately. Okay, listen, man. I fought the best I could. I should have... I should have predicted the the key moment in this battle was when I didn't predict the palm mod, uh with float so I just sucker punched into the palm mod switch. <clears throat> what I had to do, he was Lepaberry though, that's the thing too. He was Lepaberry. Maybe I should have attacked after with Cinderace. What I should have done is I should have just clicked Pyro Ball into Float Soul. You know why that was the play also? Because I still had the focus sash intact. Me having the Focus Sash was very important in that situation. Even if I predicted wrong, 
and Floatzel just stayed in and attacked, I would have lived that hit. He would have died to uh, recoil. But then I feel like he gets... He always gets a Revival Blessing up. I mean, really, only just the, the Revival fucking mouse won him the game. Otherwise, we won't. You know what I mean? So I feel like, considering that I have no fucking water resists... Okay, I have two. I get it. I have two. But my team does nothing against rain. Like, it's so difficult. Everything... Every Pokemon doesn't have uh, even a, a neutral move to hit any of the rain motherfuckers, you know? Well, it kind of does, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have super effective shit. I don't have, like, electric moves. I don't switch into this stuff too well, bro. Gyarados just died to Water Terra Float Cell. That thing is a fucking threat. Roaring Moon just dropped. Like, both of my water resists dropped to a water move. Like, what am I supposed to do, you know what I mean? So... I, I feel like this battle was fine. For what it is, we we made it really, really close. Alright, man. This team is fun as fuck. I'll put it in the description. <laughs> you saw what we were doing. Cinderace, I guess going stupid, but <laughs> not, not as much in this video. But that's that's okay. I'll bring you more Cinderace videos. That, that thing is fucking fun.